Happy for what? For what reason? Uh, health. Health, huh? What, what sort of health reason are you talking about? So you won't have cancer. You don't have cancer, cancer, yeah. You don't have cancer is the main thing. Huh? How to spay a rabbit. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary education video brought to you by Topayo Vets. In this case, the rabbit's owner was aware that spaying the rabbit makes it less susceptible to breast or uterine cancer. This video explains how a rabbit is spayed. First, since owners may have difficulty sexing a rabbit, it is important to verify the sex so that the spay is performed with no surprises. During the physical examination, the vet discovered that the rabbit had a congenital partial heterochromia, a harmless difference in colour and part of one iris. During the spay, a spay hook is used to hook up one of the light pink uterine horns. Then, the ovarian pedicles are clamped and ligated and then cut off. The same is done to the other ovary. Then, the uterine horns are clamped, ligated and excised above the surfaces. Finally, the wound is stitched up. The surgical stitches do not need to be removed as they are made to be absorbable by the body. Rabbits don't like Elizabethan collars, so we did not put one on. Therefore, plasters are used to cover the stitches so that the rabbit cannot bite them and the wound is protected against the dirt. The rabbit is given oral antibiotics and painkillers for the next four days. It is sent home. Two days later, Dr. Singh called the rabbit's owner to follow up. The owner said that the rabbit was eating a lot and pooping a lot, but was drinking less and peeing less. Dr. Singh told her that eating a lot is a good sign of recovery. As for peeing less, it could be due to some pain from the surgery, as the surgical site is close to the urethra. The rabbit should be on the way to recovery. Dr. Singh asked if the rabbit was confined in a crate. The owner said that the rabbit was allowed to hop around the house because it did not want to be crated and slept in the owner's bedroom. Dr. Singh had advised against this and recommends that the rabbit be confined for one week to allow the wound to heal. Tips and advice for owners and veterinarians 1. The rabbit does not need to be starved before surgery. 2. Spay a rabbit young to prevent mammary and uterine cancer in old age. 3. As the uterus of a rabbit is more fragile, the veterinarian must take care during ligation. The uterus of a rabbit is different from that of a cat's or dog's because the rabbit has two services while the cat or dog only has one. The rabbit also does not have a uterine body while the cat and dog do.